In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college football games happening on September 28, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college football games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Wisconsin vs. Southern California College football conference play is in full swing, and Saturday promises a thrilling Big Ten matchup as the Wisconsin Badgers face off against the 13th-ranked Southern California Trojans. Historically, Southern California has dominated this head-to-head -head series, holding a 6-1-0 record against Wisconsin. However, the Badgers claim victory in their most recent encounter, winning the 2015 Holiday Bowl with a close score of 23-21. This history sets the stage for another exciting clash as the Trojans look to maintain their dominance, but Wisconsin will aim to repeat their most recent success against Southern California. The current line for this Big Ten showdown appears to be inflated. One of the main concerns with Pac-12 teams joining the Big Ten was whether they can handle the physicality and size of teams from this new conference, which tend to emphasize dominance on the line of scrimmage over finesse and skill positions. This worry became evident in Southern California's season opener, where they were completely out Southern California ailed by Michigan. Despite being listed as underdogs, the Wolverines controlled the game at the line, rushing for an impressive 290 yards while limiting Southern California to just 96 rushing yards. Michigan's dominance up front exposed Southern California's weaknesses, and Wisconsin is likely to adopt a similar approach in this game. Although the Badgers are now playing with their backup quarterback, this might work in their favor. Breeden Locke, who started several games for Wisconsin last season, is more mobile than the injured Tyler Van Dyke, a transfer from Miami, and Locke's agility could add an extra layer to Wisconsin's rushing attack. Coming off a bye week, Wisconsin has had ample time to rest and prepare for this crucial contest. Southern California's defense was shredded for 290 rushing yards against Michigan last weekend, and it's likely that Wisconsin will look to exploit the same weakness on Saturday with a run-heavy game plan. When a point spread crosses the two-touchdown mark, covering it requires near perfection from the favored team. Given Wisconsin's physicality, their extra week of preparation, and the Trojans' recent struggles against the run, there are numerous reasons to believe the Badgers can keep this game within two scores. The line seems to be an overreaction to Wisconsin's Wisconsin's loss to Alabama, but the Badgers still possess strong line play. They will likely try to control the clock, limit scoring opportunities for both teams, and keep the game within striking distance in the fourth quarter. I am not comfortable laying more than two touchdowns with Southern California in a Big Ten matchup, especially considering their issues stopping the run. Therefore, the Wisconsin Badgers to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Both Wisconsin and Southern California have a trend of playing under the total in most of their games this season. Wisconsin has gone under in two of their three contests, with their only overcoming in a game where Alabama scored 42 points. Similarly, Southern California has also gone under in two of three games, just barely going over in a high-scoring affair against Michigan. Wisconsin will likely look to follow the game plan that Michigan laid out, keeping the ball on the ground, controlling the tempo, and limiting Southern California's offensive possessions. Southern California California quarterback Miller Moss threw for an impressive 378 yards against LSU, but Michigan managed to hold him under 300 yards in their victory. While Southern California prefers to air it out, they'll have fewer opportunities if Wisconsin can sustain long, methodical drives. With Locke's mobility at quarterback and two reliable running backs in Malusi, who has 200 yards, and Yakamelli, who has 147 yards, Wisconsin is unlikely to seek big passing plays. Defensively, Wisconsin will likely drop their safeties back to force Southern California to attempt to establish a run game, limiting their aerial attack. Wisconsin's best chance of winning this game is by keeping Southern California's high-powered offense off the field, much like Michigan did. The Badgers currently rank 44th in the nation in rushing play percentage, running the ball on 55.41% of their offensive snaps, which shows their commitment to the ground game. On the defensive side of the ball, while Wisconsin may struggle at times to contain Southern California's explosive offense, they should be able to force a few key stops throughout the game. Although the Badgers allowed 42 points to 
Alabama, I don't place Southern California's offense in the same category as Alabama's, and Wisconsin should have a better chance of controlling the line of scrimmage in this matchup. If the Badgers can disrupt Southern California's rhythm and force them into second and long situations, they'll have a strong opportunity to keep the Trojans in check. The total points projected for this game feels a bit high for a contest involving Wisconsin's style of play. Therefore, under the projected total is our full game total pick. Oklahoma vs. Auburn This weekend's matchup between the Oklahoma Sooners and the Auburn Tigers marks only the third time these two teams have faced each other. Historically, the Sooners have dominated the head-to-head -head series, holding a 2-0 advantage. Oklahoma first secured a 40-22 victory in the 1972 Sugar Bowl and followed up with another impressive win in the 2017 Sugar Bowl, defeating Auburn 35-19. Both previous meetings were bowl games, adding significance to this rare regular season clash between the programs. Last week, the Oklahoma Sooners experienced their introduction to the Southeastern Conference with a tough home loss against top-ranked Tennessee, falling 25-15. The Sooners, still adjusting to their new conference, are eager to bounce back and secure their first Southeastern Conference win as they hit the road to take on Auburn. One of the biggest storylines from last week's defeat was the quarterback switch. Jackson Arnold, who had faced scrutiny heading into the game, struggled mightily, throwing for only 54 yards and contributing just three points on the scoreboard. His well-known difficulties with deep ball accuracy, which were apparent in the game against Houston, resurfaced against Tennessee. Arnold was eventually replaced late in the game by freshman quarterback Michael Hawkins Jr., who provided a much-needed spark. Hawkins threw for 132 yards and a touchdown, gaining the respect of his teammates with his fearless play, including a daring leap over a defender toward the end zone despite the game already being decided. All signs now point to Hawkins taking over as the starter this Saturday, which could reinvigorate Oklahoma's offense as they look to find their rhythm. The Auburn Tigers, like the Sooners, are coming off a disappointing loss. They fell 24-14 at home to Arkansas in a game that was tied 7-7 until late in the third quarter. Auburn had hoped of winning that game but struggled to keep up as the contest wore on, ultimately falling behind and being unable to recover. Senior quarterback Peyton Thorne managed to limit turnovers, throwing only one interception. But his season has been plagued by mistakes. He has already thrown five interceptions this year. Heading into this matchup against Oklahoma, there are serious concerns about Thorne's ability to protect the football, especially against an elite Oklahoma defense. Led by defensive mastermind Brent Venables, the Sooners' defense is one of the best in the nation, with NFL-caliber talent and speed at every position. Auburn will have its hands full trying to break through. Oklahoma faces a tough schedule for the remainder of the 2024 season, with eight games left, five of which are against teams currently ranked in the top 15. Given this daunting lineup, the Sooners will need to capitalize on opportunities like this weekend's game against Auburn, a team that has been underperforming. I believe Oklahoma will rise to the occasion and secure its first sec win of the season. The Sooners have the advantage in both talent and momentum, and I'm confident in picking them to come out on top against Auburn. Auburn, at this point in the season, just doesn't seem to have much going for them. Hayden Thorne's erratic play has been a major liability for the Tigers, as evidenced by his five interceptions and underwhelming 57.1% completion rate. In contrast, Oklahoma has a fresh energy with Michael Hawkins Jr. stepping in as quarterback. Hawkins has been efficient with the ball, having zero turnovers in his 22 passing attempts and 14 rushing attempts this season. If Hawkins can continue to protect the ball, I expect Oklahoma to win comfortably. With a higher ceiling on offense and a stronger, more disciplined defense, the Oklahoma Sooners to cover the spread is underdogs is our full game side pick. Oklahoma's offense operates at a fast pace, ranking 46th in the country in offensive plays per game. Two weeks ago, they put up 34 points, and although they struggled last week, that was against a formidable Tennessee defense. With Michael Hawkins Jr. at the helm, Oklahoma is optimistic that its offense will perform better moving forward. On the other side, Auburn's offense has shown flashes of productivity. Two weeks ago, the Tigers scored 45 points against New Mexico and they are averaging an impressive 462 total yards per game. While they couldn't translate that into points against Arkansas last week, they still managed 431 total yards, showing their offensive potential. Auburn's passing game remains a threat, and their running game is equally strong. With both teams capable of putting up points, I expect a high-scoring affair, making over the projected total our full-game total pick. Colorado vs. UCF 
A pair of Big 12 rivals face off on the football field, both eager to secure a victory as they meet in the Sunshine State. The Colorado Buffaloes head east to take on the UCF Knights on Saturday afternoon in what promises to be an exciting clash. Colorado enters the matchup following a thrilling 38-31 overtime win at home against Baylor last Saturday night, a game in which they managed to cover the spread as two-and-a-half-point favorites. On the other side, UCF comes into this contest fresh off a bye week. In their previous outing on September 14, they pulled off a stunning comeback to defeat TCU 35-34 on the road, winning outright as two-and-a-half-point underdogs. This will be the first time these two programs have met as Division I opponents, adding an extra layer of intrigue to the contest. The UCF Knights are considered the more complete team, and they are expected to be sizable favorites playing on their home turf. However, one of the key storylines heading into this game is how Colorado will respond after their miraculous comeback victory over Baylor. Could this be a classic letdown spot for the Buffaloes? Despite that possibility, getting more than two touchdowns with Colorado seems like an attractive option, especially considering their offensive capabilities. While opinions on Colorado's overall team strength may vary, one thing is certain, they can put points on the board which often keeps them competitive. Notably, Colorado was 5-1 against the spread as double-digit underdogs last season. On top of that, UCF's pass defense ranks 94th nationally, which could be a concern against Colorado's high-flying, pass-oriented offense. For these reasons, the Colorado Buffaloes to cover the spread as underdogs is our full-game side pick. Colorado has surpassed the posted total in two of their four games this season. Additionally, when facing a rest disadvantage, they have seen two of three games go over the total since 2023. In conference play, the Buffaloes have gone over in five of their last ten games during that time frame. UCF, meanwhile, has also recorded two overs in their three games this season, including their last two contests. When playing with a rest advantage, UCF has seen two of four games exceed the total dating back to last season. Furthermore, the Knights have gone over the posted total in five of their last eight home games since 2023. While some may anticipate a more run-heavy game plan, UCF's offense has consistently put up points, suggesting a strong case for the over in this matchup. Given both teams' offensive firepower, over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.